Hello and welcome to Bob's World. Today we have a special treat for you. We're going to go over some uh, original art that I received as an AOK -okay from Unruly Simeon. So we're going to give him a big shout out and thank you. And uh, so sit back, relax, and let's talk some original art. <laughs> So uh, today I'm going to just show off some, uh, well actually it's one piece of original art that was received to me from um, Unruly Simeon, a good member of our community. Thank you so much, big comic collector and uh, music enthusiast, great guy. Uh, he was watching a live stream that I was doing and my wife was on and we were talking about uh, some pieces that I had picked up, uh, various comic stuff and and he heard me mention that I really wanted to focus on some more original art this year, which is completely true. So I've been picking up original art like a crazy person this year, but really enjoying it. Uh, there's a published page right here I picked up this year. So really just enjoying increasing that part of my uh, art and comic collection. Uh, but one artist in particular is I'd like to have uh, some Greg Land art. And I made mention of that, uh, either a pinup or original page or something uh, by him, uh, one of my favorite artists. So that was a goal of mine this year. And then in the coming years, I intend to add to that list of artists that I'd like to have some original art by. It's a very short list, but it's a difficult list. So I was like, but I thought like Greg Land was maybe obtainable. It was just going to, you know, like anything else, it's going to be cost and opportunity. So uh, anyway, let's make me small and get to the hall. Yo! Now you won't know why this is up there. Yeah, you will. So uh, the original art page that he sent me was from Mighty Avengers number 10. And it was page 13 for Mighty Avengers number 10. So uh, first off, I'll just mention that I, I got I got these a couple of weeks ago, but I was waiting to show them off. Or I got this a couple of weeks ago. I was waiting to show them off because I was waiting for... I, needed, I wanted to get a couple of copies of the book. Uh, mostly because I knew I was going to cannibalize one of them. And then I was waiting for some frames to come in so that I could display them properly. So that's all happened. It's all come together this week. We just got it done, so I can't wait to shoot this video and show everybody. So here is the original, uh, here is the comic cover, and here is the original art by Greg Land. So you can see here, and we're gonna do a little little steady cam work here. So hope you guys don't get sick or anything, but let's take a look here. So we have Mighty Avengers number 10, Greg Land and Jay Liston. And you see there's Falcon there. And he's fighting somebody. Very cool. And then you see also that is Spectrum. So very cool. I definitely wanted to have a female drawn by Greg Land somewhere on the page if I could. And this worked out perfectly. And it's got the additional signature as well, which is nice. Because often, if you've ever buy original art, a lot of times they're not signed. Uh, it has all the information on it, and it might have, like up here across the top, it'll have the information. But often they're not signed. So this one's signed, so that's pretty cool. So Mighty Avengers number 10, page 13 by Greg Land. Let's make a little room. All Hulkies in the way. There you go. We'll lower this down just a tad. Okay, so that's what he sent me. So thank you so much, Unruly, and the, and I was waiting to get the frame, and then also uh, this frame as well, so that I could frame an original, um, so so I can frame the page. So I cannibalized one of those books back there. That's why I wanted to have two copies, one complete, so that I could show the cover and everything, and then one just so that I could uh, snag the page from inside. So what I did was, I was originally going to bend the whole comic back behind in the frame, but it was a little too tight for that, and it would have wrinkled up the pages. So instead, I just removed the staples, and I took um, just the wrap that, was, that it contained page 13 out, and then I put it in this frame. And this is a frame, um, this is a Books A Million uh, frame, and it's made just for comics. So it's a comic frame by Books A Million. So it's pretty neat. It has a little kickstand back behind it, and it's got some hanger hooks and things like that. So, so there you go. So I have this displayed up on the wall, just like this, original art, and then the um, additional uh, reference page, if you will, uh, for it from the comic book. So there you go. And it shows all the additional writing, which is cool because it kind of completes the story, and you see where the coloring was involved and how different that makes everything look. So very cool. 
So thanks to Unruly Simeon. Uh, what a great guy. What a friend. Uh, what a pillar of the comic community. What a great guy. I just, just can't say enough. Really didn't have to do it, but I'm so glad you did. Uh, you guys know I, I don't give away a lot of stuff on my channel, so it's always very humbling when somebody sends me something. Uh, every now and then I try and be a little generous, but it's only a little. Just a little, <laughs> you know, I try not to overdo it. Uh, but this is way, this is this is above and beyond. This is way, this is so much. So thank you so much. I can strike this off my list. Original art by um, by my one of my top. He's on the Mount Rushmore for me of good girl artists, uh, especially alive and especially anyone that's still working. So I mean, that's he's way up there as far as that goes. There's probably only about maybe three that I would say that are still alive, still working. That I would say, yeah, it's that's up there. So there you go, Greg Land. Knocking it out of the park. Thank you so much, Unruly, and we'll catch you next time in Bob's World. Remember to re What is it? Read a comic. That's it. Read a comic, and don't apologize for the glare. Bye-bye.